Department of Justice documents obtained by Judicial Watch appear to confirm that the FBI is communicating with Pfizer, the pharmaceutical company, about Project Veritas. Now in this document, which is an FBI document dated January 6, 2022, it's in response to a FOIA request, number 1514498-000, subject, all communications regarding Project Veritas between FBI officials and employees backslash representatives of Pfizer. That's right, Pfizer Pharmaceutical. It says in the letter, the FBI has completed its search for records responsive to your request. The material you requested is located in an investigative file which is exempt from disclosure. It's unclear why Pfizer, one of the world's largest pharmaceutical companies, would be communicating with the Federal Bureau of Investigation about journalists or journalism done on Pfizer. Now on November 9, 2021, the CEO of Pfizer did say he was talking to the FBI and CIA about what he called misinformation. Uh, there was, particularly with us, we were targeted by a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, dark uh, organizations that you don't really know the ownership. Uh, you suspect that there are some countries behind. Uh, we were getting a lot of briefings from uh, CIA, from FBI about uh, attacks that may happen to us, cyber attacks, I mean, but also about the spread of misinformation. That statement by Pfizer's CEO on November 9th came on the heels of a couple Project Veritas investigative reports into Pfizer about a month earlier. When somebody is naturally um, immune, like they got COVID, um, they probably have better, like not better, but more antibodies against the virus. So your antibodies are probably better at that point than the vaccination. Well, again, what you just saw wasn't our claim. That was a statement made by a scientist at Pfizer. The next report we did was on October 6th and involved a whistleblower named Melissa Strickler, and she released emails from a senior director at Pfizer named Vanessa Gelman, who in those emails, Vanessa Gelman talked about how she didn't want information about fetal cells floating out there from the development of the vaccine. From the perspective of corporate affairs, we want to avoid having the information on the fetal cell lines floating out there. Again, we didn't make these claims. This was not our information. This information was coming from Vanessa Gelman, a current senior director at Pfizer Pharmaceutical. So the question is, why would Pfizer, a pharmaceutical company, be talking to the FBI about Project Veritas right after those pieces of reporting I just showed you? Why is a pharmaceutical company and the Federal Bureau of Investigation having conversations about journalists in the United States of America. Is this another example of the Department of Justice being weaponized by corporate and political interests? Is this another attack on the First Amendment and an attack on journalists? Project Veritas is once again calling upon all journalists to send a message that the politics of fear will not and cannot prevail. The fourth estate needs to ask questions about this. Do your job. Power, deception, propaganda. A new book by James O'Keefe. The moment you stop caring about what the media establishment thinks of you is the moment you become truly free. Pre-order now at American Muckraker.